The drugs found yesterday afternoon wasn't an unusual amount. It's the van they were found inside that's getting all the attention. The van appeared to be a plumbing van, which it wasn't, which leads investigators to believe that it's a clone. It's not the thousand pound marijuana seizure at a home in Rio Grande City that stands out for the Star County Haida Task Force. It's the van recovered from the crime scene. We were able to see a vehicle and uh, several subjects there where they were loading the bundles. Authorities found most of the drugs inside this van. The logo says that it's a plumbing business out of mission. We called that number and the business doesn't exist, leading investigators to believe that it's a clone vehicle. Clone vehicles are vehicles that uh, drug dealers use uh, to so they could blend in with the traffic or blend in with other company vehicles. At first glance, they look like typical work vehicles, but inside drug smugglers hide hundreds of pounds of drugs that are heading north. It's the first time since the spring the task force has encountered a clone. We've had the direct TV vans, we've had the time wire cable vans, I mean, uh, other companies, alarm companies. Authorities believe clones are commonly used. A report produced by the Department of Public Safety says clone vehicles are a threat to the public because the innovative tactic can easily avoid detection. Most officers out there in the streets, I mean, already know that they're utilized, I mean, for that purpose. And even though clones are not often caught, it doesn't mean officers are not looking for them. Geta says clones like the van seized Wednesday are easily spotted. The mission, the mission uh, company over here, and we have our own companies that do the same work. Investigators are unsure how long the clone was used for, but for now it will sit in a compound of seized vehicles all tied to drug smuggling. We spoke with other police departments in the area who say they too have encountered clone vehicles. If you suspect a vehicle is being used to smuggle drugs, contact police. Live in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, I'm Nadia Galindo. Action 4 News.